What's going on Nation? Today is Sunday, November 13th. This is your SHF weekly update coming at you live from my studio. I know it looks beautiful. Got some crazy stuff for you guys. I actually just got done doing this workout right here. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it was the first of the month. Volumize your glutes. Click on this link right here or in the info section below. Just got done doing it with Erica to start off our day. And when I did the switch it up a little bit is after every single round, there's three exercises that you do. We did 30 sit-ups and then I did 10 pull-ups and we did it four times. If you guys do that, it's going to give you a super awesome pump. You're going to feel good and you're going to start this day off feeling just as good as I am right now. So check that out right here. Some pretty cool stuff happened this week. We got like 30 bags to put upstairs in our upstairs section, which I'll show you guys later on. Uh, tie bags, boxing bags, super heavy bags, and then some grappling dummy bags. This thing's 100 pounds, believe it or not. This is for some like, to help simulate some ground and pound action as we start getting more into the MMA videos, as we have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructors here, Taekwondo, and other sorts of MMA fighting. So that's coming soon. Oh, another really cool thing I did this week, well, I thought it was cool, some of you guys did too is I've been working really hardcore on some of my power lifts. I've been recording more of, them, uh, more of them for you guys to check them out so you can see how hard I push myself in the gym. If you haven't checked it out, check it out right here. I deadlifted 405 this week, my first time trying it. I did it four times. Uh, Sean and I went over deadlift form. I did like 225, 12 times to warm up. Then we hit 315 for a set of eight. Did 365 for a set of eight. And then I, no, for a set of five. Then did a 405 for a set of four. Now there were a lot of comments on this video saying, why aren't you wearing a weight belt? Well, let me just handle that right now. If you can do a lot of weight and you train for it, you don't want to use a belt because it will actually make you weak. Your core will start to rely on the belt and over time your core will get weak. The only time you should be using a weight belt is if you're starting to feel like you're pulling from areas you're not pulling from or if you're doing your one rep max. I did 405 with decent form, it wasn't perfect. However, I've been training for a very long time. I know my body as you should know yours. And before I do the set, I can feel out my body to see if I'm overstraining myself and I was not. So actually I take that back. There's another time you should wear a belt. When you feel like you're overstraining your body in places you shouldn't, then it's time to get a belt. I did not feel that way. I have a super strong core. That is why I was not wearing a belt. However, in future videos, you will see me wear a belt probably when I try to tackle 500 pounds, which I will try to do very soon because I am pumped about trying it, <laughs> okay? But it was really awesome. Thank you all of you for your amazing comments. They're pushing me to want to work even harder. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out right here. And I want to do a very special happy birthday shout out from Hermanite Daniel to his friend Katie, who has a birthday coming up on November 15th. Let's all wish Katie a happy birthday. She's a Hermanite too, in the info section below. Happy birthday, Katie. I don't know how old you are, but I hope it's an amazing birthday, because Dan didn't tell me how old you were turning. But it doesn't matter. Happy birthday, Katie. Alrighty? So if you're turning 21 or above 21, stay away from the booze. Alright? I'm watching you. <laughs> My girlfriend's giving me a face like, I drink on my birthday. Well, guess what? It's not your birthday. It's Katie's birthday. So she can decide. But she's not gonna, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, Saturday exercise explosion this week. Right here. Over here, we have a deep barbell back squat. Now, on this exercise, I went over exact form and how you should be. This exercise is really gonna hit the lower body. It's gonna really emphasize the glutes gonna pump out those quads and you will feel it throughout your hamstrings and a little bit in your calves as well. However, those are secondary muscle groups. So make sure you guys try this exercise. It's really great. It's something that I've been doing in my workouts to get my strength up and it clearly has worked, which is why I smashed those 405 deadlifts on top of doing other exercises as well, obviously. But for overall body strength, this is one exercise you guys definitely should be doing. And over here, we had the resistance band reverse fly. A lot of us, including myself, don't have the best posterior deltoids because we might do our form wrong. For the longest time, 
my form was off and Sean actually showed me what I was doing wrong because sometimes you just don't notice. And there's a little, little trick that you can do that I teach in this video is some people when they do flies, they actually pull back like that, which is actually how I used to do it. What you're supposed to do is keep your elbows up as you pull back because keeping your elbows up is how you activate those post outs. So make sure you guys check that out, okay? The Tuesday tune-up this week was so short circuit to supercharge your body. This was an exercise routine of, I believe, about eight exercises that you can do at home or at the gym or outside or at the bus station or anywhere you can find a floor and you want to get your workout on. If you haven't checked it out, check it out right here. You can do this three to four times a week and really help burn some calories, get some fat loss and some body toning going on. Check that out right here. And then the Tuesday tune-up next week will actually be Ask Scott and Sean, episode 13. And now this week, I finally finished the Ask Scott and Sean page on scotthermanfitness.com, link in the info section below. You can actually go there, all the episodes are there, and there's a spot where you can click to submit your question. Made it super easy for you guys to get involved with us, because we love hearing from you and answering your questions. So make sure you go in the info section below, check out that page, recommend it to your friends, the recommend button up there for Facebook, and then we'll answer your questions. Easy as that. And a couple more things. Uh, I actually made a custom tab on Facebook, link in the info section below, for my BSN and status blog that I update every single week. You guys have been seeing the BSN blogs, that's where I've been posting a lot of my lifting videos and me doing my personal workouts. And in the status blog, I've actually been talking about how I've been feeling throughout the week, what I have going on, and I'm actually posting my sets and reps for what I'm doing for the week for my workouts. If you guys want to check that stuff out, info section below, or just go to the Facebook page and go on the uh, left side underneath the avatar where all the welcome tabs are, and you'll see when it says BSN and status blog. And then last but not least, fan art winner this week is our very own Super Hermanite. Ashard Hasim took the photo of me going like this and put the SHF symbol where the dumbbell is. I love it. Thank you very much, Ashard. I have about, I think, 32 tabs that I've kind of saved because Ashard sends me at least one or two every single month of fan art. And I have them all saved, Ashard. I'll show you on my desktop. And this one was really cool. I really liked it. So that's the fan art one for the week this week. And then the last thing I want to talk about is I've been working super hard. You guys have obviously seen on Facebook fan page, community page, I've been updating all the tabs and timestamps on the routines that are on YouTube because on the Scott Herman Fitness website, when you guys log in either as a silver or platinum member, all of the routines are being inputted into the site. So all you have to do is click on the body part you wanna work out or you click on total body, the muscle, uh, name of the muscle, uh, Iron Gym, uh, Resistance Bands, TRX, Ad Pillow Extreme. Everything is organized so you can find things anytime you want to. I know it can be frustrating. We have over 600 videos on YouTube. So I went one step further, putting them all on the website, and those are organized in beginner and intermediate and advanced categories. If you have not seen it, make sure you check it out, scottherbanfitness.com. So I'm feeling really good. That was a really good workout. I guess we can't even read my writing on this page because I was writing it. You ever, ever try to write like your name or anything after you just got done doing a crazy workout and you're just like, that was me. And so that's what it looks like. And believe it or not, I was able to read it. So that's your SHF weekly update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.